Hey guys, this is Greg, Dogs and Doubles. As you can see, I'm up here today pooling auctions. We're checking out all the great guns. I brought uh, Sky along, she wanted to see some too. I'm gonna go inside, I'm gonna pick out some of my favorites and I'm gonna tell you all about them. Uh, so let's go inside and check it out. So hey folks, Greg at Dogs and Doubles. Uh, and I'm up here at Poolin Auctions in Fairfield, Maine today and uh, checking out all the fantastic guns they have coming up in their sale this weekend. Uh, so October 20th is the beginning of uh, their big sale. They're selling off over uh, about 2,400 guns. And I was walking around, I noticed one gun, I, and it, as soon as I saw it, it brings up a lot of uh, images in my head about what it was used for. So you imagine uh, this gun, so say it's, it's, you're in Africa, and it's, uh, it's before World War, II, World War I, so it's 1910. And this is a time when, uh, big game like elephants and cape buffalo. These, these animals are everywhere. They're thicker than squirrels in a public park. And you were hunting there. And you would have been out hunting with a group of guys. Uh, you would have been stalking big game. And the gun that you would have been carrying would have been something very much like this. So this is a Holland and Holland double rifle. And the caliber is 500 450. So this is an elephant gun. And in its day, that's what it was used for. Uh, whoever bought this gun uh, had it custom made for them and then they took it off to Africa um, and I'm sure it saw lots of big game and lots of big game hunting. Uh, you can see this, how enormous the shells on this gun are. So it produced uh, you know, a, lot of, uh, a lot of energy, pushed a lot of lead and it was made to shoot really big game. And every time I see these, uh, they're just such cool guns to see, cool, cool guns to ha have in your hands. And to really think about uh, the times they were used and what they were used for, uh, you know, it's a time that just doesn't exist anymore, really. Uh, but fantastic condition. Uh, you know, just this is what you would call honest used condition. Uh, it wasn't something that someone kept in a safe. It's something that someone uh, kept on their shoulder and kept in the field while they were out hunting. Like I said, it's, it's a Holland & Holland. It's a Dominion or a number three, which was two steps down from their best gun, which was a Royal. And uh, this is a side lock. So the, uh, the locks to fire the gun are mounted on the sides of the action. Um, and it's a back action side lock. So the spring that activates the hammer and drops the hammer sits behind the hammer instead of in the front of the hammer, like on most side locks. But in its day, this was uh, sort of, this was a, working class double. This was bought by a gun who, this was bought by a guy who uh, really went out in the field and used it and shot it a lot and that was the intention. Uh, who knows, it could have been owned by a professional hunter, someone like that, uh, who was in Africa earning a living, guiding people and hunting for himself. But just a really cool gun all around. Looks like it's, it was for 70 grains cordite, three and quarter inch cases. So a big charge and a lot of lead. The barrels on it, you can see, you look at them from this one, you can see how massive the uh, chamber is, these big cartridges that, it fit in, that went into it. These barrels weigh a ton. It's got these cool sights on it. Foreign release. Just a really neat gun. So this, like I said, this is another one of the lots coming up at uh, Pool and Auctions this weekend. This is lot 1003. If you want to see some more pictures of it, go to poolandauction.com, uh, check it out, uh, you can learn a little bit more about it, and you can see all the other guns they're selling in the sale. Uh, and if you want to arrange a bid, you can bid online, you can do it over the phone, or you can even come up here to Fairfield, Maine, uh, vi visit Poolands for yourself, and uh, bid live in the audience. And uh, if you're lucky enough to get this gun, you'll have uh, something that you can sit around and uh, imagine what it was for, just like I just did. So, good luck. And to find out more about uh, you know, guns like we've just been talking about, other great doubles from Parkers to Foxes, uh, Bosses, Sours, uh, be sure to visit my site, dogsanddoubles.com. Um, my blog has all sorts of pictures, all sorts of information. And if you have a gun and you want to find out more about it, feel free to drop me an email, greg at dogsanddoubles.com. Uh, I can do everything from telling you uh, about its history, how much it's worth, and I can even tell you the best ways to sell it and get the most money for it. So uh, check out dogsanddoubles.com. And uh, thanks a lot for watching.